No deal Brexit appears to be the most likely scenario after months of negotiations have produced nothing but a deadlock, but, according to new peer Gisela Stewart, Britain and the EU might just be playing safe and bluffing about the chances of not reaching an agreement by the end of the year. EU and UK negotiators have yet to find a way to overcome significant divergences in their attempt to seal a post-Brexit agreement. Following the UK's departure from the EU on January 31st, the two sides are trying to secure a new trade deal before the end of the year, when Britain will effectively exit the EU's customs union and single market. However, negotiations have proved difficult and the parties appear far apart on a number of issues including regulations for businesses and the fishing industry. After the fifth round of talks broke out in London at the end of July, the EU's chief Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier said a trade deal with the UK by the end of the year appears unlikely. In a statement, his British counterpart David Frost also concurred that there were considerable gaps. Moreover, Downing Street is said to be already working on the assumption Britain will have no trade deal in place when the transition period ends on December 31. In an interview with Express, though, Baroness Gisela Stewart suggested both sides might be bluffing about the chances of not reaching an agreement by the end of the year. She said, I really hope both sides realize it is not in their interest to not reach an agreement. It is a zero-sum game. But actually, I think they do realize it. In any EU negotiations, the final deal is reached a minute before midnight. But in the meantime, they have to prepare for that eventuality. People need to know what they have to do in that case. Referring to Michael Gove's recent visit to Northern Ireland, the former Labour MP and Vote Leave chair added, this a classic example of that. The government is making sure small companies can do this and that. This week, the European Commission published a 39-page dossier of preparations businesses and citizens need to make before the end of the year. Member states are warned that choices made by Prime Minister Boris Johnson in pushing to deviate from EU rules and opting not to extend the transition period beyond December meant, inevitable disruptions, will occur next year. This would, risk compounding the pressure that businesses are already under due to the COVID-19 outbreak.